Welcome everyone to episode 25 of the World's Don't Keep. We are live here on Ustream, going to be doing another concept art show this week. And by we, I mean me and the co-hosts of the World's Don't Keep podcast. Uh, I am Joe, with me are Jordan, Ken, and Dan. Say hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> hello. Hello Loyal 8. A little more enthusiasm there, sleepyhead. <laughs> mm, never. <laughs> There's everyone. Sometimes? <laughs> For this week, we're going to be uh, doing some more concept art, like the previous two live shows we did. I believe those are episodes 20 and 21. You can check those out on uh, YouTube, on our YouTube account. Just search for TWSK or World Stone Keeper, or however, however you want to find us. Um, as well as some concept art from the official D3 website, we're going to be looking at some of the Diablo Facebook milestone images today. Uh, the most recent ones, 950, and if we can get to them, the 970,000 milestone as well. As it stands right now, we're only about 15,000 away from the millionth like, and Bashiok says they have something special planned for that, so hopefully it'll be a video. And if it is, we'll do a show on that, if it's long enough. And it'll be awesome. Uh, we're going to save the, the rune talk and everything for our next show, I believe, since we got a lot of concept art to get through and not a lot of time. So, let's get into it. First image we got is some barbarian concept art. Four images, two of what we've seen before. Actually, have we seen three of those? Or just two. I know we've seen the metal. Uh, we've before. seen we've seen this whole thing before. Actually, they did give us. We've seen this four panel before. So this is just a much higher res than uh, it's been given to us. Or or wait, no, no, that one on the left with. It's actually very difficult to to tell sometimes which ones are ones you've seen and which ones you haven't. Motor Skull, which is actually joining us, left some feedback from the blog. Um, he notes that he likes the look they're going for in Diablo 3 with the new barb compared to the Diablo 2 barb, which he looks a lot more barbaric, which were his words, you know, and I have to agree. His armor is much more menacing than it was in Diablo 2. It can be used as, like, its own weapon, in a sense. And he's just more animalistic, too. Oh, yeah. Always with a ton of weapons ready to tear some stuff apart. Yeah, I, I really like the one on the far right, just simply because of that helmet. Yeah, just really yeah, over think, the top. <laughs> I think animalistic is a is a really good term, and I think that's where they're going for. You don't see it so much in these. Like, there's a couple things, you know, the horns on the far right one, the uh, the boots on the second from the right one. Uh, but we saw, I think, was it 2010 BlizzCon where they had the one set of armor with like the the elephant heads, and, right? You know, that they, Ooh, I don't remember that. That they are going for that sort of animal, you know, animal totem type. Uh, theme with a lot of particularly the higher up you get in the uh, in the armor set primal warrior type thing yeah i think it's also really interesting looking at the uh like i say the, the one with the very interesting boots which is uh essentially the third picture look at very closely at his center breastplate and you'll see like a it looks like a yelling face and we also i guess we see that in the uh if we look at the female barbarian picture, which I believe you have up at the same time there on, yeah, yep. you do on the Just stream. Them. Um, if you look at her boots, they're they're hooves. Yep. So she's got the uh, she's yeah. got the kind of um, antelope or ibex uh, antlers and the cloven hoofs, and so. Dude, she looks badass too. You do not want to mess with that chick. No, you wouldn't. Her mask almost has like an Iron Maiden feel to it. The way the front is styled, looks like it's just hugging her face. The bars. Yeah, awesome picture. Love yeah, concept. I love art. concept. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you look at her boobs. You uh, see her boobs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's pretty much no part of the armor set that's not menacing. I mean, just imagine if she backhanded you with one of those gloves. <laughs> yeah. <You're done. laughs> Say goodbye to half your face. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I like that picture. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, I didn't. I didn't think that an antelope could be so menacing. <laughs> Kick your I was wrong. Up. Yeah. Oh, they're they're terrible. Like deer, deer will mess you up. <laughs> uh, trivia question. I heard running into one of those is like hitting a brick wall if you're in a car. Yeah. And don't try and swerve because you'll just die. What animal kills more people than any other type of animal on the planet? Mosquitoes. Deer. What? Car accidents. Oh. Yeah, technicalities I are fun. I thought malaria. Yeah. <laughs> the box jellyfish. Yeah, if you're talking about actual attack type animal, like maul you to death, I think it's actually the hippo, but... Yeah. Dude, hippos are gnarly. 
Yeah. No thanks. I wonder if they're going to have a hippo themed. Uh, see, now that would be a menacing armor set. <laughs> <laughs> the obese look. <laughs> Thousand or just, pounds you know, got nothing on me. Well, because their teeth, like they're, those, those bottom front teeth are as long as your forearm. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, oh, it's a big giant hippo that can swallow you whole, but it yeah, won't. It'll rip you in half first. <laughs> yeah, those things can literally just bite you in half. It's ridiculous. All right, let's move on to the uh, screenshot that we got. All right, PVP looks like uh, what are those caused by? Is that the Barb's Whirlwind? Those are yeah, yeah those are whirlwinds. Okay, okay, which we saw recently with the new rune update. Now yep. what? I think I don't know. Is the one jumping? Is there jumping yes. in the game, or so, yeah, or is that just like leap attack? Strange leap attack. My yeah, guess is leap. It looks like one's charging and the other one's doing some sort of leap attack. Right. And what's really amusing to me in this picture is the the two wizards are just kind of hanging out like <laughs> yeah. hanging out in the background. <laughs> They'll just they're it. just gonna go at it. We're just gonna wait until the dust settles. <laughs> Starfish hat wizard in the house. <laughs> yeah, we got to. I, I still like the starfish hat. <laughs> I don't know about it. I, I never hey. really disliked it. I, I think it looks okay. L- let's be honest, Joe. How bad would you feel if you got beaten to death by a guy with a starfish hat? <laughs> I mean, I think your your uh, your pride would be obliterated would right then and there. <laughs> yeah. Especially if they died at pink. Oh, well, and that just makes me think that you know over. we need to we need to go for sort of secretly vicious animals for the really high level armor sets. So you know the the top of the uh, the the barbarians top level one would be the box jellyfish. Uh, box armor jellyfish set. for yeah. sure. Uh, In fact, does. he's just wearing a bunch of box jellyfish. <laughs> it's, it's not even armor. It's just <laughs> just a bunch of jellyfish. That's more of a witch doctor thing with tentacles going out and weaving around after you. Of course, uh, I could see the the witch doctor wearing a a headdress that's like, Portuguese man of war, and it'll just kind of go out (laughs) and poison things as it goes along. (laughs) There's actually an even crazier jellyfish. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like the Erud Kanji jellyfish, and it's like the size of a fingernail, and it can kill you. Yeah, that's out in uh, Australia, isn't it? Yeah. Where everything deadly is, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Shout out to Motor School. <laughs> of course, in Australia. How are you still everything alive? Deadly. Irukandji, the Irukandji jellyfish. Yeah. Things crazy. That would suck. You're just swimming along. Done. I'm a wizard, mighty. Yeah, pointing out that the uh, shield effect when the barbarian is jumping, it doesn't quite. It doesn't stay around the barbarian. It stays around where they're at on the ground. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of it is kind of funny looking, but <laughs> remember uh, a similar sh- shot. The shield barrier's up; he's in it, and there's a firebomb effect that's already hit him. Didn't it seem like the fire effect was uh, slightly off due to the shield? It. I wasn't sure if that was actually a a designed effect or if that was just a coincidence. I could see it being either way because I remember being blown away. Like, remember the StarCraft two their first thing where they put up like the when when slow time was still in the game and it showed them all like rippling as it was entering the uh, as they were entering the field and we see that with slow time in the the wizard preview video so i know that they can do stuff like that but i don't know if that was a specific case of it right it'd be cool if it was not going to complain by any means but right that's kind of how i felt about it it's like you know i can't really tell if this was intentional or not but it's kind of cool it's a interesting observation all the same i imagine when you're actually in game playing though it won't really matter because i mean screenshots we can be more critical of them because it's frozen action but when you got everything going on and you're focused on the fight you aren't going to be paying attention to it no stuff like that you'll only notice I after about you. I... quite a while <laughs> I slog my computer down so that it's just running at like two frames a second so that I can like <laughs> every single moment. Like, just my shtick. Um, Let's move on to the next image. What might happen if I don't upgrade my computer? <laughs> this next image is of the caves. That's what it's titled. Presumably in or near Borderlands cliff setting. But they could be part of a differently named area. I have no idea. There is... One thing I want to note that I forgot to put the image in the stream, in the little image pack, but I'll link it here on Ustream for everybody to check out. This concept art of the Barbarian, drawn by the great 
Wee Wang looks like he's hanging out on these type of glyphs. And there's some menacing looking building in the background with some green oozing stuff coming out of the lower portion. So that could just be for dramatic effect or an extension of the caves. Thoughts? Uh, it looks, I don't know, I almost suspect that, like, you know, that this is part of Borderlands, just a sub area of it uh, right. and transitional. Now, here's something that's kind of throwing me off. Bashiok said that everything we saw in the followers video, all of those environments, those were all act one. Right. And we saw, so that means that the desert connects to the grasslands and the swamp in, right. in some manner. And so conceivably it starts off in the desert and then we actually go through this sort of canyon type transitional area borderlands into the the grasslands around uh, around the monastery in old tristram or maybe the other way around who knows but i think we're probably going to be seeing this fairly early in the game yeah they love dangling it over your head <laughs> uh, you don't know what's going on they're all sitting there like "Ooh, let's see what they make up about this one <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much it is kind of funny when you think the cow level exists purely due to uh the fans basically yeah just making something up out of the blue for diablo one now do you think these bridges and stuff will actually play like how they appear in the concept art where you're um, actually running across rope bridges and stuff i think i I, I would hope so i think yes i think there will at least be some rope bridges but it'll still still be ultimately fairly linear you know it won't be like oh well we're scrambling up these ones over top of these ones but you'll see others off in the distance that you just won't get to Mm -hmm. well I, i tell you what occurs to me looking at this picture and the rope bridges if you think back these are no wider than one person really if you're just looking at the concept art right yeah you know that's a a terrible design as a general rule for things like arcane sanctuary and the maggot lair and the places that were really the most annoying on the planet (laughs) so with that thought in mind it may be different hopefully than what the concept art depicts or there might not be any monsters at this stage maybe this is just getting into the caves and then the actual fighting goes on Mm, transitional period how much loot will you lose off the side Oh, uh, I hope none. Made me I angry. I hate games where <laughs> loot falls off the side. <laughs> Kill a You're flying mob. Why no? Like there was a part in Demon's Souls where I was trying to kite these flyers back for like thirty minutes just so that they would back, like they would come towards me a couple more feet so I could kill them over ground. <laughs> So I really hope that nothing goes like that. That loot doesn't drop over edges. That it's just you like okay, both. well, bodies will slip off at certain points, like on the bridge, but but their gold, their gear has like magic non-fall barrier problem. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. CP slow. The specters from Diablo 2. Arcane Sanctuary. <sighs> but it's okay because it didn't have very good drops anyways. It's the new maggot layer. The anus of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's <laughs> up, Zelnaga? All right, next picture we got is of Spectral Warrior. No, what's he called? Yeah, Spectral Warrior. No idea yeah. where these guys come in. I love this one. This guy is so freaking cool. Have we seen these guys in-game yet? No, not that I know of. Oh, unless not. Unless we saw a different version of them way back in the Barbarian, uh, the Barbarian Witch Doctor video. I'd need to go digging for that. Honestly, the only thing that it's reminiscent of that's actually in-game would be uh, in King Leoric's tomb when you see uh, all the ghosts everywhere. But they don't look exactly like this. Now, when you take a look at this image, what do you think? Like, does it remind you of anything? Oh, it reminds me of the scene from uh, Return of the King. Exactly. Oh, Undead Army. Right on. I get that. Yeah. This guy looks sweet. wonder what kind of loot he drops. <laughs> <laughs> he Boss drops nothing if he's mom. floating over a cliff edge. <laughs> 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 so my guess on these, like you know, undead army, I think probably we'll see them in in Leoric's uh, Leoric's tomb. Right, that's what and I was too. Doubtlessly, here's here's a good question: How much pallet swapping do you think we're gonna see? Uh, hopefully minimal for these 